Oh, now the glory because the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Today's reading 172 from the King, from the Daily Light on the Daily Path. <laughs> All right. Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will pay you. That's from one, um, just by the way, that little clip is from the, I think it's Exodus in the Bible, where the mother of Moses puts Moses inside a basket and puts him in, on the river. And the Pharaoh's daughter finds him with her servants. And the little girl, Moses' older sister, is there watching Moses. And she picks him up and asks the little girl to send somebody. And the little girl sends her mother. And then she said, uh, tells the mother to nurse this boy for her. And she'll pay him. So basically the mother got to nurse and care for her son with pay. But she had to give him up and give him to the Egyptian later on. That's just all right. Bow, you go to my great field and work. Whatever is right, I will pay you. Whoever gives you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, will not lose his reward from God. The man who gives much will have much, and he who helps others will be helped himself. God always does what is right. He will not forget the work you did to help the Christians and and the work you are still doing to help them. This shows your love. Each one will receive his own reward for his work. Lord, when did you see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you a stranger and gave you a room? When did we see you and uh, you had no clothes and we gave you clothes? When did the king... When the king will say, For sure, I tell you, because you did it to one of the least of my brothers, you have done it to me. So basically saying, if you take care of the poor and the homeless and give them clothes, food, and shelter, you're not just doing it for that person. You're doing it for Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! <laughs> come, you who have been called by my Father, come into the holy nation that has been made ready for you before the world was made. The bomb, there's some Bible scripture. I will admit today it's a little bit harder when it comes to taking care of the uh, poor and the homeless because I don't know if God wants you to take care of the marked. Uh, that's another iffy thing. Uh, but uh, if you don't know, to, to give them, you know, give them clothes, give them the things they need, give them food. Uh, I like to donate to charities, uh, good charities like the Salvation Army. I know the Salvation Army since I, uh, I was part of the team at one point in my life. Anyway, that's another long story, and here is some Bible scripture I've written down. I got it from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Alright, let's begin. And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse it for, for me, and I will give thee thy wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. Exodus 2, 9. And another thing, in the past we used to have something called wet nurses. Uh, rich people and, and people that could afford it would hire nurses that, you know, were, you know, were doing were lactating because they had a child themselves most likely and to feed their own child so they didn't have to nurse. I think some famous actor that I read that grew up in Germany or something. No, I read. My mother read now that I think about it. That I had a wet nurse. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. Matthew 24. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Mark 9.41 The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Proverbs 11.25 for God is not a righteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have strewed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints, and do minister. Hebrews 6.10 Now, you can't get saved by works. You get saved by faith. But God wants you to do works. I mean, if, if you just believe in Lord Jesus Christ, but you're, all your works are is uh, abominations, doesn't really make any sense. You know what I mean? If you love Lord Jesus Christ all with all your heart and soul, you're one of going to do the works too. Because uh, if you're doing works for the other side, 
making things that promote the devil, how do you really love Lord Jesus Christ? Do you know what I mean? So, God, if you're doing your labors and you love God and you're doing those labors in the love of God and love of Jesus Christ, you're doing the right thing. But don't, like, don't minister to a point where you're not noticing people's hurt and people's sorrows and all you think about is ministering to God because then you don't have the love of God in your works when they, when they get, you know, get, they get tested by God or can be burned up and destroyed. Not good. You want to be loving and kind and be good and help the people that are needing of help. They're crying out for help and not dedicate yourself completely to your ministry and your works for God because that just becomes this all work and no love. You want to have love too. Now that he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. 1 Corinthians 3 8. That's right. We all going to get a reward for all our labors. Some more than others. It doesn't really matter to me what labor, what reward I get. The only thing I want is to meet Lord Jesus Christ, and and that's basically it. <laughs> I don't really care if I get like glory or anything else. Just meeting Lord Jesus Christ and being a good follower because it's good enough for me. The shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and feed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Matthew twenty five, thirty seven through thirty eight. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared <coughs> Bless you, I'm sorry. Bless Kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world, Matthew twenty five thirty four. I had no plans for sneeze. <laughs> that was just weird. Okay. Usually I know I'm going to sneeze, but it's like, what the frig? I got sneeze. Mm. So, take all this with the Lord. Uh, ask the Lord for guidance. You should ask the Lord for guidance for everything. You shouldn't just take what anyone says uh, completely as you know as word. You know, because we're all um, fallen where nobody's perfect. So, the same thing when you go to, when reading God's word, when you're reading God's holy word, you should take it up with Lord Jesus Christ. Ask him for guidance. And continue to read it. I mean, if you've read the whole Bible once, you got to read it again and again and again. I, I'm reading the Bible again for the second time. I read the whole King James Version Bible once. I read the, I had a small Bible and I read the whole thing. Did I remember every word I read from cover to cover? No. <laughs> but And I'm relearning and learning new things that I didn't know and realize when I read it the first time. God, please be with all my subscribers, all my viewers, all their loved ones and family members. Please fill them all with the Holy Spirit. Please wash them all in the Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please lead them all to the Lord Jesus Christ. And please bless them all with the heart, healing, and deliverance they need as long as they have not taken the mark. If it is in your will, God, Lord Jesus Christ's holy name, amen, amen.